Hello and welcome to this first look exploring session, our continuing first look at looking at uh, Mustafa uh, by uh, Falk Greville. Uh, this is uh, Act 3 to Act 5. We're going to do the second half of the play um, and uh, finish it off uh, for uh, as the action uh, hots up to a degree. Uh, Acts 1 and 2 very much setting up the power struggle between who's going to take over. Uh, from Solomon, uh, is it going to be his uh, son uh, from his first uh, wife, uh, Mustafa, the character of the title of the play, who we've not met yet, or is it going to be uh, uh, the uh, the child by uh, Rossa, his second wife, uh, or will other things go on? Uh, will we uh, uh, get more uh, debate, or will we have more uh, murdery action? Uh, we're reasonably certain that we're following the the later uh, revised version of the play uh, rather than the earlier version. Uh, I think that primarily because of the some of the choruses and also are different and also that this one's just slightly shorter. Uh, so uh, without further ado, we're going to dive into Act 3. And reading today are the characters of Rustin, Solomon, Priest, Zanger R and Rossa in Act 5 only is... Uh, drinking. Uh, uh, no, not drinking. It's the other one. It's the other one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eric, and my sound is having a few issues here, so I can hear you, but I can't see you. Oh. Very well, I can, I can, I can hear you, but from a different source. Strange. Uh, it's uh, almost a, uh, an uncertainty principle of of recording on Zoom. Uh, we 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 know where Eric is, but we don't know how fast he's travelling. Uh, reading Rosser in Act Four, Time, Akmat, and Mustafa is Liza Graham in London. Having some tea. And I'm your host, Robert Crichton. I will be reading Bella, the uh, Nuncius, Eternity, and uh, other choruses in Act 4 and 5. Uh, otherwise, I'll occasionally remind you where, which act we're in. So, we're in Act 3. It's Scene 1, and it's Rossa and Rosten on stage. And uh, as it's our first Rossa uh, for Act 4, uh, it starts off with Liza. O oh, wearisome obedience wax to power! Shall I in vain be Mustafa's accuser? Shall any justice equal him and me? Is love so open-eared, my power so weak, as aught against me to my lord dare speak? Sands shall be numbered first and motion fixed, the sea exchange her channel with the fire before my will or reason stand in awe of God or nature, common people's law. Rossa, whence grows this strange, unquiet motion? Govern your thoughts. What you to content you that have the king of kings at your devotion? Content? Oh, poor estate of woman's wit! The latitude of princes is desire, which all it hath enjoyed still carries higher. Say you, the world is left to my devotion, who questioned am in both my state and fame, must lose my will, and cannot lose my shame. For Mustafa, long since condemned to die, now lives again. To boast of marriage, then, what ground have I? Include not now, for thoughts that be offended or saw them with their present ambitions mended. Rage sees too much, security too little. Affections are like glossy metal, brittle. Ah, servile sex, must yokes our honour be, to make our own loves our captivity. No, Rossa, no, no, look not in languished wit, for none can stand on fortune's step with it. Think innocency harm, virtue dishonour, wound truth, and overweigh the scale of eight. Sexes have ways apart, states have their fashions, the virtues of authority are passions. Rossa, take heed your honours, like king's humours brittle are. Broken once, repaired can hardly be, and these ones stained. What is humanity, Rossa? First judge your ends, then your means. You seek to undermine a prince's state, be rooted in by time, power, reverence, established on succession fortunate of many Turks. From men that sought a servile be, use having lost the liberty, 
use having lost the use of liberty. I understand the monarch's state too well to bid you shape, purchase people's idle breath that have no power of honor, life, or death. These ways were wrong, uncertain, fearful too, in absolutes, which all themselves will do. But turn your eyes up to the will of one. No, you must work a father from his son. This parent's dotage, as it weakness is, so works it with the vigor of disease, still undermining with the things that please. Upon this quick sand, what can be begun? Son's love with self-love must be overthrown. By force of nature's law, there is nothing more. The strife's in the father's mind you must beget, and him above his sweet affections bear, uh, to make impressions both of hope and fear. Those silly natures act to lovingness, which ever must in others' power live, with doubt become more fond, with wrong more thrall. Fear here wants eyes, hate hath no sting at all. All these false strengths of native confidence with their excess have their inconstancy. The laws of kind with tyrants nothing be. Besides the Arosa, ills have such alliance as in what subject any one is grown. The seeds of all, even in one, are sown. This mass of passions, who can deal with all? Too nice and subtle is inconstancy. Shall wrong fair written still in patience be? Must my desire so many cautions have and wait on those thoughts that have worshipped me? I cannot bear this mediocrity. Rosa, take heed. Extremes are not the means to change estates, either in good or ill. Therefore, yield not. Since that makes nature less, nor yet use rage, which vainly driveth on the mind to working without instruments. Besides, it doth make partial our intents, discredits truth condemns indifferent things, but take upon you quiet providence. The prince's state with his authority teach power to doubt, for doubt is her defense. Degrees of passions as of spirits there be, choose now for use and not for dignity. Love spreads the wit to play, but not to harm. Hath many feet to walk an easy pace, slow to mistrust and never apt to harm. But fear of credit is within the mind, strengthened by nature with the strength of all in men's and tyrant states, both natural. The project of this fear must yet be made the prince's safety, honor of the state. Such glorious styles may easily overshade the ways of spite, for treason is in hate. Flattery straight speaks aloud in power's right, carrying things under names, truth under might. Who dare distinguish in a tyranny where fraud itself hath power's authority. Who shall correct errors made for the king, but kings themselves, who actors in their fears most honor those that most suspicion bring. Who sees, who there sees right, or dare use honor's name where both assure of death and doubtful fame. Then, Rosa, plant you here. Accuse the son, although you fail his death, you need not doubt in in tyrant state, never was man undone by miscomplaints. Besides, what comes about in earth but it hath lets and finds delays? Yield not, but multiply malice and patience. Honor is only form, form tyrant's ways, accuse his friends, speak doubtful charge and praise, put truth to silence. People dare not see the pride of power in formal tyranny. I know my time, the ba bashes how they bend. Faction still wakes, and competence hath spite. It is fault enough that Ahmed, his friend, his lightness and his power well understood. Things may so pass as Mustafa may die. Uh, counsel or remorse put fury by. But if extremity chance to require more audacious fear, then use rage. It gives sometimes an honor's desire, an, an honor to desire. It shows a plainness credible to age. While it is ruled, it may have time and place. But if it rule, it prophesieth disgrace. I feel my heart now rise, my spirits work, confuse at thoughts all words have overthrow overgrown. When Mustafa is dead, what star hath motion but Ahmad, in whom Suleiman yet trusts? 
They who their ends by change strive to advance must never doubt to go the way of chance. Ahmed is wise and Solomon's beloved. Even tyrants covet to uphold their fame, not fearing evil deeds, but evil names. When children's blood the father's forehead stains, what privilege for counselors remains? What arguments against him? Use of killing, suspicion, the favorite of tyrants, delight of change, favors past, and fear of greatness, sharpened by Ahmad's harsh and open dealing, which mighty tyrants' liberty would draw into the narrow scope of human law. Let Mustafa be dead. How dead while Ahmad reigns? Down is the idol, but the workman lives. His favor, virtue, reputation, course to us are still that Mustafa or worse. Then down he must and shall. My chiefest end is first to fix this world on my succession, next so to alter, plant, remove, create, that I, not he, may fashion this estate. Act 3, Scene 2, Enter Bellad B. Nuncius. Rosser and Roston, while you stand debating the joys or sorrows of your private fortunes, some evil angel doth traduce you both. Akhmat is called for, wit, art, spite he hath, and while for sons with fathers men entreat, affection makes each good appearance great. Roston, make haste, go hence, and carry with thee my life, fame, malice, fortune, and desire, for which set all established things on fire. You ugly angels of the infernal kingdoms, you who most bravely have maintained your beings in equal power like rivals to the heavens, let me reign while I live in my desires, or did live with you in eternal fires. Rossa, not words but deeds please hell or heaven. I fear to tell, I tremble to conceal. Fortune unto death is then displeased, when remedies do ruin the diseased. Use not these parables of coward fear. Fear hurts less when it strikes than when it threatens. If Mustafa shall die, his death miscarries part of thy end, thy fame, thy friends, thy... Uh, who will, or to hurt his foes, himself destroy? Myself? What is it else but my desire? My brother, father, mother, and my god are but those steps which help me to ex aspire. Mustafa had never truer friend than I that would not li with him live, but with him die. Yet, tell, what is the worst? Kamina must with him a traitor be, or Mustafa, for her sake, must be free. Oh, cruel fates, that do in love plant woe, and in delights make our disasters grow. But speak, what hath she done? Undone thy doing, discovered unto Mustafa his danger, and from these relics I do more than doubt, her confidence brings Solomon about. Nay, black Avernus, so I do adore thee, as I lament my womb hath been so barren to yield but one to offer up before thee. Who thinks the daughter's death can mother's stay from ends whereon a woman's heart is fixed? Weighs harmless nature without passion mixed. Is mother by the woman overthrown? Rage knows no kin. Power is above the law, and must not curious be of base respect, which only they command that do neglect. Your child's death angers him whom you must please. My ends are great. Small things are wrought with ease. This plants confusion in the powers above. My end is not to quiet, but to move. God plagues injustices in so great a state. This excess. The doing minds feel not that idleness. What if this work prove not conspiracy, but care that with all duties may agree? Tis private fortune that is built on truth. Justice is but of great estates the youth. Yet by the love of mothers to their children, by all the pains of travail so well known, punish, but yet spare life, it is your own. I do protest no terrors, no desires, glories of fame, of rumours, injuries, could in, in a mother's heart have quenched the fire of loving kindness to her children born. It conquered is with nothing but with scorn. I am resolved to move the wheels of fate. Her triumph shall be pain, her glory shame. Ha uh, honor 
is of excess a just reward. The givers of example have regard. And we have the chorus to close the act, this starting with the chorus of time, followed by eternity. What mean these mortal children of mine own ungratefully against me to complain that all I build is by me overthrown, vices put under to rise up again, that on my wheels both good and ill do move the one beneath while the other is above, day, night, hours, arts, all God or men create, the world doth charge me that I restless change, suffer no being in a constant state, Alas, why are my revolutions strange unto these natures, made to fall or climb with that sweet genius, ever-moving time? What weariness, what loathsome desolations would plague these life and death-begetting creatures? Nay, what absurdity in my creations were it if time-born had eternal features? This nether orb, which is corruption's sphere, not being able long one shape to bear. Could pleasure live? Could worth have reverence? Laws, arts, and sects, mere pro probabilities, keep up their reputation in man's sense if novelty did not renew his eyes, or time take mildly from him what he knew, making both me and mine to each still new. Daughter of heaven am I, but God none greater. Pure like my parents, life and death of action, author of ill success to every creature whose pride against my periods makes a faction. With me who go along, rise while they be. Nothing of mine respects eternity. Kings, why do you then blame me for whom I choose as my anointed from the potter's oar, and to advance you made the people lose while you to me acknowledge at your power. Be confident, all thrones subsist in me. I am the measure of felicity. Mahomet in vain won trophy of my might, raised by my changed aspect to other nations, strives to make his succession infinite and rob my wheels of growth, state, declination. But he and all else that would master time in mortal spheres shall find my power sublime. I bring the truth to light, detect the ill. My native greatness scorneth bounded ways. Bounded ways, untimely power a few days ruin will. Yea, worth itself falls till I list to raise. The earth is mine of earthly things, the care I leave to men that like them earthly are. Ripe I yet am not to destroy succession. The vice, the vice of other kingdoms give him time. The fates without me can make no progression. By me alone even truth doth fall or climb. The instant petty webs without me spun, untimely ended be as they begun. Not kings but I can nemesis send forth. The judgments of revenge and wrong are mine. My stamps alone do warrant real worth. How do untimely virtues else decline? For son or father to destroy each other are bastard deeds where time is not the mother. Such is the work this state hath undertaken and keeps in clouds with purpose to advance false counsels in their self craft justly shaken as grounded on my slave and shadow chance. Nay more, my child occasion is not free to bring forth good or evil without me. And shall I, for revealing this misdeed by tying future to the present ill, which keeps disorder's ways from happy speed, be guilty made of man's still erring will? Shall I, that in myself still golden am, by their gross metal bear an iron name? No, let man draw by his own cursed square such crooked lines as his frail thoughts affect, and like things that of nothing framed are, decline unto that center of defect. I will disclaim his downfall and stand free as native rival to eternity. What means this newborn child of planet's motion, this finite elf of man's vain acts and errors, whose changing wheels in all thoughts stir commotion, and in her own face only bears the mirror, a mirror in which, since time took her fall, mankind sees ill increase, no good at all. Because in your vast mouth you hold your tail, as coupling ages past with times to come, do you presume your trophies 
shall not fail as both creation's cradle and a tomb or for beyond yourself you cannot see by days and hours would you eternal be time is the weakest work of my creation and if not still repaired must straight decay the mortal take not my true constellation and so are dazzled by her nimble sway uh, to think her course long which if measured right is but a minute of my infinite a minute which doth her substance tie subsistences which in not being be shall is to come and was is passed by time present cements this duplicity and if one must of force be like the other of nothing is not nothing made the mother why strives time then to parallel with me what be her types of longest lasting glory Arts, mitres, laws, moments, supremacy of nature's erring alchemy, the stone from nothing sprang this point, and must, or by course, to that confusion turn again or worse. For she, and all her mortal offsprings, build upon the moving base of self-conceit, which constant form can neither take nor yield, but still changing shapes to multiply deceits, like playing atomy in vain contending, though they beginning had to have no ending. I, that at once see time's distinct progression, I, in whose so bosom tease and shall still be, I, that in causes work the effect succession, giving both good and ill their destiny, though i bind all yet can receive no bound but see the finite still itself confound time therefore know thy limits and strive not to make thyself or thy works infinite whose essence only is to write and blot thy changes prove thou hast no established right govern thy mortal sphere deal, deal not with mine time but the servant is of power divine blame thou this present state that will blame thee brick wall your errors from one to another both fail alike into eternity goodness of no fixed cause can be the mother both you and yours do covet states eternal whence though pride end your pains yet be infernal ruin this mass work change in all estates which when they serve not me are in your power give unto their corruption dooms of fate let your vast womb your cadmus born devour the vice yields scope enough for you and hell to compass ill ends by not doing well let mustapha by your course be destroyed let your wheels made up to wind and untwine leave nothing constantly to be enjoyed for your scythe mortal must to harm incline which as this world your maker doth grow old dooms her for your toys to be bought and sold cross your own steps hasten to make and mar with your vicissitudes displease your own your three light wheels of sundry fashions are and each by others motion overthrow do what you can mine shall subsist me i am the means of felicity <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I quite enjoyed that eternity bit. I mean, it's got until the end a sort of absolutely nothing to do with anything, but I quite like. Yeah, uh, eternity. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we beat finite time, the conception of time as a, as a, as a passing uh, action. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I one one thing I like about this text is I like the philosophizing, and mm. I think this chorus was a really good example of that. That time consumes and eternity preserves. Time changes everything. Time. So, for example, Mustafa, time talks about succession, and of course, time brings about succession. What Mustafa wants to do is kill his own son and destroy his succession uh, to, to basically kill his heir so that his heir dies before his own time uh, and time seems to take umbrage to that. 
Um, and it's quite fitting that eternity, of course, gets the last word because eternity outlasts time. Mm. Uh, yeah. Um, th- th- there's elements of this where I'm sort of going, oh, this 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 feels actually quite quite forward thinking in terms of the nature of um, the universe and sort of the heat death of uh, of of. of reality um there's, there's some really interesting bits in there i quite enjoy i i, I really enjoyed that in, in a sense much more than the human people uh who should have been a lot more interesting but but i i i again struggled you know rossa should be you know evil kill mustafa stuff and uh, between you and roston and um and, and discussing the power politics of everything and um and uh, and nancy is coming in to to say well how, have you thought over all this through have you thought all the ins and outs? And yet I didn't find myself excited by it. In... Yeah, Rosa, I mean, I liked some of... I, she was good on the power politics. I wasn't quite clear on the relationships. Is Rostin her brother or her lover? Uh, uh, I think l- lover, I, that's what I thought. Um, but I will check that, because it's been a week since uh, we were last here. So uh, it was just Yeah, because just... they never... She in that entire scene, she never. Ah, uh, no, no, neither. Uh, she is uh, Kamina's husband, so she is. Um, um, he is, um, is 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 an in-law, uh, a, a son-in-law to her. He is on her side, but she is not on his. If that makes sense. Uh, so wait her. a second. Um, but Rostin didn't say a thing when Rossa said, oh, Kamina must die because she might get in the way of my goals. He did not, uh, which suggests that um, he's much more interested in power than the, his actual wife. I said, perhaps he thinks he will marry Rossa when Rossa has killed everyone? Maybe, maybe. Uh, it does seem like the people are quite quite sanguine about murdering uh, their own children and or wives. Um, they they talk, but I think what's dissatisfying about that Rossa and Rostin scene is that they're very much talking past each other, mm. or they're having a philosophical argument where what you want to see on stage is a relationship. Yeah, because they're argu- they're arguing about doing something pretty horrific. Um, you know, it, you know, the, 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 um, I, I, it doesn't seem to be touching anyone uh, at all. You know, we have a line like, I feel my heart now rise, my spirits grow. Um, but are you actually doing any of those things, character, uh, who said those words? I'm not sure you are. I think you're just stating that my character is supposed to be having emotions now rather than actually the character having any emotions. Um, any other thoughts? Eric, uh, you are one of those people. Um <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The, I mean, aside from the, as we, we've mentioned as a sort of, uh, um, not a prologue, but like a sort of, I um, can't remember what the word is now. Uh, my brain is going into Greek. This is useless right now. Uh, just like the sort of structure of the language is weird. It's like you can't figure out where to put a full stop or, or a comma or a breath or whatever. And um, I mean, not in the chorus, in, in the other parts. So it's like, wh- is he with on her side? It, like he kept going, Rosa, do this, take heed, be careful, and like it just feels a bit like sort of, I don't know. Um, Wait, I, I suppose he's asking her to t- take action because she has more power than him, to a degree. Uh, he might have more room for maneuver in terms of action, but. Uh, you know, she is higher up the social scale, you know, because they're talking about what happens, what will her husband do? Uh, and obviously her husband is also um, uh, quite up there. You know, he's he's in charge of everything, um, uh, Solomon. So uh, what he decides to do uh, matters a lot. And they have to try yeah. and persuade him to do things. And if they can't persuade him to do things, they have to do their own thing. So, yeah. Yeah, but it just felt like sort of take heed and then sort of a bunch of vague things that are not really like, it's not sort of like go help murder your husband. There's no like actual direct speech. It's just kind of mm. like all this, well, sort of like the way Ross says, like use not these parables, uh, like all these are basically parables of like uh, 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 sort of uh, um, they're like talking about the situation without talking about it, which is kind of weird. Mm. Yeah, they're not they're not getting to the action 
uh, uh, of the heart of it. They're, they're, they're talking about the, the general political situation, but it's just not touching them. Um, I suppose it would work if, if you think of them being... No, no, that doesn't. Uh, never mind. Um... Um, I, I did like the how like eternity just sort of I, I don't know I, I kind of pictured it as like you know time giving this immense monologue about like what on earth are these people doing and then eternity turns up to sort of go step aside I'm here now <laughs> kind of and, uh, it's yeah I, I did like that part yeah and, and and generally I've I found the the choruses in this really fascinating. I I think that they're, they're genuinely interesting. I mean they're not necessarily dramatic. Uh though actually I think time and eternity's exchange is to uh, to a degree even though they they are sequential. There 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 is there is a competitiveness to them that I quite like. Um So, uh we're going to go into act 4. Uh act 4 scene 1. Uh uh, we have Solomon and, in theory, Ackman is uh, about, um, but it's Solomon uh, speaking, and Solomon's going to see some things, man. He's going to see things that you, you wouldn't believe. Ahmed, go chart the bashers to assemble. God only is above me and consulted. Take freedom, not as oft king's servants do to bind church, state, and all power under you. Visions are these, or bodies which appeared? Raised from within or from above descendancy? Did vows lift up my soul or bring down these? God's not pleased with us until, until our hearts find ease. What horror is this? The safety, right, and the crown. Thrones must neglect that will adore God's light. His will are good. Suppose it pluck us down revenge is his against the ill what white right what means that glass born on those glorious wings whose piercing shadows on myself reflect stains which my vows against my children bring my wrongs and doubts seem their despairs of vice my power a turret built against my maker my danger but disorders prejudice this glass true mirror of the infinite shows all yet can i nothing comprehend this empire nay the world seems shadows there which mysteries dissolve me into fear i that without feel no superior power and within feel but what i will conceive distract no neither what to take nor leave i that was free before but i'm now captive to the Sacri this sacrifice that raised me from my earth by that i should know by, by that i should from that i'm i am deprived in my affections man in knowledge more protected nowhere far more disunited still king of men but of myself no more in my son's death it shows this empire's fall and in his life my danger so included to die or kill, Un alike unnatural, no powers or in spirits with prayer thus confused, nor judge, nor rest, nor yield, nor reign I can. No god, no devil, no constant king, nor man. The earth draws one way and the sky another. If God work thus, kings must look upwards still. And from these powers they know not, they cho choose a will. Or else believe themselves their strength occasion, make wisdom conscience and the world their sky. So have all tyrants done, and so must I. And Act 4, Scene 2, Enter Bellagby Nuntius to Solomon. Solomon, if Rosa you will see alive, you must make haste, for her despair is such as she thinks all things but her rage too much. Fortune. Hast thou not moulds enough of sorrow, but thou must, but thou must those of love and kindness borrow? Tell me, out of what ground grows Ross's passion? When hither I from Mustafa returned, and had made you a compt of my commission, Rossa, whose heart in care of your hearth health burned, curiously after Mustafa inquiring, a token spies which I from thence did bear, for Mustafa by sweet Camina wrought, yet gave it not, for I begin to fear, and something in it more than precious uh, kindness thought, 
no sooner she espied this precious gift but as enraged hands on herself she lays from me as one that from herself would shift she runs nor till she found camina stays i follow and find both their voices high the one as doing the other suffering pain but whether your camina live or die or dead or if by she uh, by rage or guilt be slain if she made rosa mad or ma uh, rosa mad to hurt things dearest to herself be glad i know not but solomon make haste for man's despair is but occasion past act four scene three rosa solomon bellagby what am i not by known who dare usurp to take this kingdom of myself from me Nature hath lied. She saith life unto many may be denied, but not death unto any. O Solomon, I have at once transgressed the laws of nature and thy laws of state. I wretched am, and you unfortunate. Declare what storm is this? What accident thy self-accusing doth excuse intent? Sir, odious is the fact on every side. The remedy is more than you can bear, and more must fall upon you than you fear. What threatening's this? What horror, what despite? King's thoughts to jealousy are over tender. And any weakness many doth engender. Rosa, what means this venom of thy death? Revenge and justice both require my breath. And tell. And lose the privilege of death? Then tell and die. Nay, tell and live a worthy death. Rip not my wounds, dear lord, silence is fit. My life hath shame, and death must cover it. What should be secrets unto thoughts that love? All imperfections that offence do move. What guiltiness cannot good will forgive? These horrors which in stained souls do live. Are thy faults to thyself or unto thee, unto me? To both alike remediless they be. Yet show me trust. It proves your heart is pure to me, and all crimes also can, kings can endure. Imagine all the depths of wickedness, my womb as hell, my soul, the world of sin. Confusion in my thoughts, fear, merciless without me, shame, impenitence within. These words are not of change, but intercession is arguing not your guilt, but your oppression. Yet least I fail and error multiply would, would declare what's done, what moves this agony. Thy child is slain. These hands imbrued are even in her, her bowels, whom I nursed with care. So strange a death includes some odious crime. She did conspire. <laughs> Silence devours the rest. Horror I apprehend. Danger, despair, all these lie hidden in this word. Conspire. This wretch conspired the ruin of this state. Sir, ask no more, for ills go in a blood. You hear already more than doth you good. But tell, what made Camina think this thought, or by whom could she think to have it wrought? Mischief itself is cause of mischief done. What should she fear, since with her is combined Mustafa, this state's successor, and your son? Can this be true? Is human nature such as in the worst part none can think too much? The ruins of my own must show my faith, for I can see no comforts after you. Yet to your bashes know I not what's true. Discover how these treasons came to light. Call Akmat first, for truth is but a blast, till it his censure's oracle hath passed. What scorns be these? How am I thus possessed? Hath Akmat other greatness than by me? If greater by you than yourself he be. In, in kings the secrets of creation rest. Sir, you created him, he all the rest. I gave that to his worth, faith, industry. And so these gifts tied to your children be. What can his age expect by innovation? Ambition gets by doing estimation. His power hath no true basis, but my grace. Sir, strength like number multiplies by plates. The decrepit slave, vile creature of mine, it lies it in his base thoughts and shaking hands to move the props whereon my empire stands. 
the name of power is yours, the being his, by whom creation, hope, reward, and fear spread and disposed still are everywhere. Besides, there is no age in man's desire, which still is active, young, and cannot rest. For Ahmad knows you will not what you can, since crowns do change a state, but not the man. His life and fortune stand upon my breath. Contempt deposeth kings as well as death. But tell, now doth thy treachery appear? Hath she confessed, or who doth them accuse? This Gaidon, with her own hand wrought and sent, bears perfect record what was their intent. Expound. What is the meaning of this work under whose art the arts of mischief lurk? These clouds, they be the house of jealousy, which fire and water both within them bear, where good shows less ills greater than they be. Saturn here feeds on children that be his. His word, a fatal winding sheet succession is. This precious hill, who, where daintiness seems waste, by nature's art that all art will exceed, in careless finesse shows the sweet estate of strength and providence together placed. Two intercessors reconciling hate, and giving fear even of itself a taste. Those waves which beat upon the cliffs do show the cruel storms which envy hath below. The border round about in characters hath the mind of all, which in itself is this. Tis hard to know, as hard and harder too, where men do know to bring their hearts to do. What said she when you showed her this work? Like them that are descried and fain would lurk, for while she would have made herself seem clear, she would she made her fault still more and more appear. How how broke she that, the wicked only fear? Her death, I mean, with what heart did she bear? She neither stubborn was nor overthrown, and but for Mustafa made no request, as if his harms had only been her own, Solomon. Take heed, malice like clocks wound up to watch the sun, hasting a headlong course on many wheels have never done until they be undone. I slew my child, my child would have slain thee, all bloody fates in my blood written be. I swear by Mahomet my son shall die, revenge is justice and no cruelty. Beglerby, attend. This glorious fate on here that would at once subvert his state in me, the, safe to the eunuchs carried, let him be. These spirits practice that contend with fate must by their deaths do honor to a state. Act four, scene four, Belagby Nuntius, a priest, and finally the title character, Mustafa. Ah, humorous kings, are you? how are you tossed like waves, with breaths from the earth beneath you move, observed and betrayed, known and undone, by being nothing unto all things one, frail man, that mouldest a misfortune in thy wit, by giving thy maid idle leave to fashion thy ends to his, for mark what comes of it? Nature is lost, our being only chance, where grace alone, not merit, must advance. The one my image, Solomon's the other. He with himself is wrought to spoil his own. I with myself made the instrument that courts should not should have no great hearts innocent. But stay, why wander I thus from my ends? New counsels must be had when planets fall. Change hath her periods and is natural. The saint we worship is authority, which lives in kings and cannot with them die. True faith makes martyrs unto God alone. Misfortune hath no such odds in a throne. But see, this football to the stars is come. A Mustafa, I mean, in innocence secure, which, for it will not give fate, must endure. Hell, distract, fixed and aghast, I see, and will go nearer to observe the rest, that wit may take occasion at the best. Uh, for if they feel their state and know their strength, how prone this mass is for another head. Did ever Hazard find occasion dead? Whether he gets the crown or lose his blood, the one is ill to him, to me both good. 
false Mahomet, thy laws monarchal are, unjust, ambitious, full of spoil and blood, having not of the best, but greatest care to whom still thou dost sacrifice the good. Must life yield up itself to be put out before this frame of nature be decayed? Must blood, the tribute be of tyrant's doubt? Oh, wretched flesh, in which must be obeyed to God's law that wills impossibility, and princes wills the gulfs of tyranny. We priests, even with the mystery of words, first bind themselves, and with ourselves the rest servitude, the sheath of tyrant's sword, each unto himself, approving best people. Believe in God, we are untrue, and spiritual forges under tyrant's might. Where we do preach your bodies to the war, your goods to tax, your... Wait, no, sorry. I think I missed the line. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, believe in God, we are untrue, and spiritual forges under tyrant's might. God only doth command what's good for you. Where we do preach your bodies to the war, your goods to tax, your freedom unto bands, duties by which you own to others are and fear which to your harms doth lend your hands. Ah, forlorn wretch, with my hypocrisy, I, Mustafa, have ruined in this state. I am the devil's friend, me, hell's mediator, a fury unto man, a man to furies. Whence grows this, secret, this sudden rage thy gesture utters, these agonies and furious blasphemings? Man then doth show his reason is defaced when rage thus shows itself with reason grace. If thou have felt the self-accusing war, where knowledge is the endless hell of thought, the minds of my soul there figured are, my state of mind is by thy feeling taught, for where despair the conscience doth fear, my wounds bleed out the horror which they bear. Horror and pride in nature opposite, the one makes error great, the other small, where rooted habits have no sense at all. Ali, judge not thyself with troubled mind, but show thy heart. When passion steams breathe forth, even woes we wondered at are nothing worth. I have offended nature, God, and thee, to each assent or impiety. The faults of man are finite like his merits, his mercies infinite that judgeth spirits. Tell me thy errors, Teach me to forgive, which he that cannot do knows not to live. Canst thou forgive? Rather avoid the cause, which else makes mercy more severe than law. From man to man, duties are but respects, the grounds whereof are mere humanity. Can justice other there than mercy be? Thoughts is an act. Who can forgive remorse, where nature by her own law suffers force? What shall I do? Tell me, I do not fear. Preserve thy father with thyself and me. Most guilty of each other's death will, will we be. Uh, tell how. Thy father purposeth thy death. I did advise thou offerest up thy breath. What have I to my father done amiss? That wicked Rosta thy stepmother is. Wherein have I of Rosa ill deserved? in that the empire is for thee reserved. Is it a fault to be my father's son? Ah, foul ambition, which like water floods, not channel bound, doth neighbors overrun, and growest nothing when thy rage is done. Must Rossa's, hairs, must Rossa's heirs out of my ashes rise? Yet, Zanger, I acquit thee of my blood, for I believe thy heart hath no impression to ruin Mustafa for his succession. But tell what colours they against me use, and how my father's love they first did wound. Of treason towards him they accuse. Thy fame and greatness give their, gives their malice ground. Good world, where it is danger to be good. Yet grudge I not power of myself to power to power. This baseness in mankind I blame, that indignation should give laws to fame. Show me the truth. To what rules am I bound? A man commanded by, is by God to die, as long as he may persecution fly. To fly hath scorn. It argues guiltiness, inherits fear, weakly abandons friends. 
Give tyrants fame, takes honor from distress. Death do thy worst, thy greatest pains have end. Mischief is like the cockatrice's eyes, it sees first and kills, it seen first and dies. Fly to thy strength, which makes for misfortune vain. Also intends thy ruin, what is she seeking her bowels for thy father lost? Who can redeem a king with a viler cost? Oh, false and wicked colors of desire, eternal bondage unto him that seeks to be possessed of all things that he likes. Shall I, a son and subject, seem to dare with any selfness to set realms on fire, which golden titles to rebellions are? Halle, even you have told me wealth was given the wicked to corrupt themselves and others, greatness and health to make flesh proud and cruel, where in the good sickness mows down desire, death glorifies, misfortune humbles. Since, therefore, life is but the throne of woe, which sickness, pain, desire, and fear inherit, ever most worth to men of weakest spirit, shall we, to languish in this brittle jail, seek by ill deeds to shun ill destiny, and so for joys lose immortality? Fatal necessity is never known until it strike, until that blow become who falls is by false visions overthrown. Blasphemous love, safe conduct of the ill, what power hath given man's wickedness such skill? Ah, servile men, how are your thoughts bewitched with hopes and fears, the price of your subjection that neither the sense nor time can make you see? The art of power will leave you nothing free. Is it in us to rule a sultan's will? We made them first for good and not for ill. Our gods they are, their god remains above. To think against anointed power is death. To worship tyrants is no work of faith. Tis rage of folly that contends with fate. Yet hazard something to preserve the state. My sedition wounds what preserved should be. To wound power's humors keeps their honors free. Admit... Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I, wait. I think we flipped the line here, sorry. Huh. I think that M, M, must, must be like Mustafa. Oh, so, okay. Go from yet hazard something. Yet hazard something to preserve the state. Sedition wounds what should preserve it be. To wound power's humors keeps their honors free. Admit this true, what sacrifice prevails? Force the petition is that never fails. Where then is nature's place for innocence? Prosperity that never makes fence. Hath destiny no wheels but mere occasion? Could east upon the west else make invasion? Confusion follows where obedience leaves. The tyrant only that event deceives. And are the ways of truth and honor such? Weakness doth ever think it owes too much. Hath fame her glorious colors out of fear? What is the world to him that is not there? Tempt me no more. Good will is then a pain when her words beat the heart and cannot enter. I constant in my counsel do remain, and more lives for my own life will not venture. My fellows, rest. Our Alcoran doth Bind that I alone should first my father's find. Sir, by our Lord's commandment, here I wait to guide you to his presence, where, like a king and father, he intends to honour and acquaint you with his ends. Ali, farewell. All faints are from above, chained unto humours that must rise or fall. Think what we will. Men do but what they shall. Are men no more? Are kings anointed blood? Profane to them and sacred unto us, plays power with gods, with laws of God and nature thus. Shall sorrow write this stone of oppression only in idle tears and not in blood? Where is man's zeal to God, his love to men? Shall that false labyrinth of humane fear keep honor and revenge still captive there? No. Let the spirit of wrong stir up affection by a smart to make both men and tyrants know. There is in each of each the overthrow, our hell and 
our wait, sorry, our hell and heaven peopled out of us. Keep we the keys of conscience and of passion, and can no just revenge in either fashion. Was ever change unwelcome unto man? Restless mortality still hates the present. No one rule please the universal can. This empire's constitution martial is, where hopes and fears must never be unbent. Anarchy is called for here by discontent. To Mustafa, I know the world's affection. To Solomon, fear only draws regard, and men stir easily where the rain is hard. Then let them stir and tear away this veil of pride from power, that our great lord may see unmiracled his own humanity. People, look up above the, this divan's name, the, this rent of terror, uh, snake, snare of liberty, where punishment is tyrants, tax, and fame. Abolish these false oracles of might, courts subaltern which bearing tyrants seal, oppress the people and make vain appeal. Ruin these spacious mosques of tyranny, these crown paid caddies of their makers' fashions, which power like for right distribute passion, confound degrees, the artifice of thrones to bear down nature while they rise up art with gilded titles to deceive the heart. The church absolves you, truth approves your work, Tr craft and oppression everywhere God hates. Besides, where order is not, change is free and gives all rights to popularity. And the fourth chorus of converts to Mohammedism. Angels fall first from God, man was the next that fell. Both being made by him for heaven, have for themselves made hell. Defection had for ground an essence which might fall, grown proud with glories of that God, like whom they would be all. Hence each thing but himself these fallen powers comprehend, nor can beyond depriving ill their knowledges extend. But in that darkened orb, through mists which my vice creates, joyless enjoy a woeful glimpse of their once happy states, and serpent-like, with cursed eternity of evil, active in mischief many ways to add more to the devil. They take on every shape of vice that may delight, striving to make creation less privation infinite. Whence from man from goodness strayed, and wisdom's innocence, Yea, subject made to grave and hell by error's impotence, labours with shadowed light of imbecility to raise more towers of Babel up above the truth to be, among which phantasms mounts that roof of tyrant's power, the outward church whose nature is her founders to devour, and through an hollow charm of life-forsaken words entangle real things to reign on all earths of on all the earth affords, by irreligious rites, helping religion's name to blemish truth with gilded lies cast in opinion's frame, whence she that erst raised kings by pulling freedom down, now seeks to free inferior powers and only bind the crown, in which aspiring pride, where wit encountereth wit, the power of thrones unequal is, and turns the scale with it, mastering those greedy swarms of superstitious rites, by which by the sinner's fear, not faith, makes her scope infinite. Hence grows it that our priests, erst oracles of state, against whose doom our sultans durst trust nothing unto fate, at once were censured all in one house to the fire, as guilty in their idle souls of Icarus desire. So free and easy is it to cast down again the creature's pride which his creator covets to restrain. Again, so easy is it to bring states to death by urging those powers to oppose whose union gave them breath. Thus, from the lives of priests, kings first their doctrine stain, and then let sect, schism, question in to qualify their reign. Nor can this swollen excess be well reformed in either, while both stand mixed of good and ill, which join not well together. 
kings seeking from the church the rights of deity, the church from kings, not nursing health, but God's supremacy, a strife wherein they both find loss instead of gain, can neither state nor, uh, since neither state can stand alone, much less divided reign, the strife of peace of and peace of which, like ocean ebbs and flows, successively do here contract, and there disperse our goods, and by this natural spleen amongst these sovereign parts, while each seeks gain by other's loss, the universal smarts, for as souls made to reign when they let down their state into the body's humours straight, these humours give them fate, so when the church and crown the souls of empire fall into contempt, which human power cannot subsist withal, they strive, turn, and descend, feel error's destiny, which in a well-formed empire is a vagabond to be thus in disorder's chain, while each link wrestleth other, incestuous error to her own is made both child and mother, so as their doing is undoing still to breed, and fatally entomb again each other in each deed, hence human laws appealed as moderators come, who under show of compromise take on them sovereign doom, entering in at the first like wisdom with applause and though propounded from our faults, yet by consent made laws, or rather scales to weigh opinion with the truth, which like stepmothers be often bring the better side to roof. And as of active ill, from whence they took their root, guilty, and so not strong to stand upon a constant foot, they wane, strive, and aspire, can bear no weight above, but as with sovereign power itself, and nothing else to love, that rival spleen, which equals still to equals bear, forgotten or asleep, as if desire had conquered fear, they facetiously, uh, or factiously a peace with their chief rival make, and let in wars, which like a flood all sea-banks over rake, in which one act laws prove, though nature gave them ground, they, that they both mould and practice took from war, that hath no bound, because like Mars his seed they feed upon their own, and by the spoil of pra crowns and men take glory to be known in which dear interchange between church laws and might, while all their counsels are allayed by overacting right, they leave their supreme pitch to servile craft impawned, descending each to traffic there, where he ought to command, till fondly thus engaged, and to a civil nature, they casting off all public ends do only make to mar, yet keep a scope in show to counterpoise each other, and save the health and honour up of monarchy their mother. But as in man, whose frame is chiefly for complexions, really joined, dispersed, mixed with opposite connections, when any of these fourfold, or distract too far, diseases reign, which but disorders native children are, from which connection, contention stirred, to its nature and her foes, while humour weaken, humour doth, to health the body grows. So in these diverse powers, express of opposition, oft by begetting strange diseases, proves the state's physician. Manners, that monster, born of many-headed passion, while it seems to destroy all moulds to each mould giving fashion, yet as these elements, thus opposite in kind, while balanced by superior ties, hey live, as if combined to make their discords base unto that harmony, in whose sweet union mildly linked all powers confer to be, when any breaks too much that poise wherein they stood, to make his own subsistence firm with show of common good, by overacting straight it breaks that well-built frame, wherein their being stood entire, although they lost their name, so that in the noble work of public government, when crown, church, soldiers of the laws do over much dissent, that frame wherein they lived is fatally dissolved, and each in gulfs of self-conceit as fatally involved, thus reels our present state and her foundation wanes by making trophies of times past, of present times, the graves. Laws strive to curb the church, the church wounds laws again, 
The soldier would have kept the church, throne, laws kept low, that he might reign. And as before, while they joined to make empire large, unto all greatness raised were by doing well their charge, so now by pulling quills each from others' wings, they jointly all are cried down by letting fall their kings, and fate prepared to shake that Ottoman succession, which erst removed from men's eyes, wrought reverend impression, where now this sultan's line profaned when men shall see they soon will scape scorn grace hope and fear the sceptre's misery nor will they more by faith or zeal in war be led to sacrifice their lives in power for fame when they be dead or to shun mortal pains and provoke the infinite wrong in man's nature stirring sparks that give both heat and light to gather in again those strengths they gave away and so pluck down that Samson's post on which our sultans stay. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that chorus anywhere near as much as I did the previous one. Uh, that was hard work. Yeah, I, I mean, bravo for, for doing it. Um, I mean, what, it's the difficult bit of this play is the political philosophy. And... Since it's a chorus of converts to Mahometanism, as in the script, I was braced for Islamophobia, but I think what it is, is Folk Greville is, he's using, um, he's using his distance from his own court to critique his own priests, his own religion, uh, and, and his own law giving. Um, I, so I don't think this is a commentary on Islam, I think it's commentary on Folk Greville's own war world. Mm, yes, and w once again, he's using that that position as he did in, I think, the second chorus to to to, to use it to to, to make other uh, other points. Um, uh, whereas before that, we had um, some interesting family dynamics. So Rossa, having killed her daughter, tells Solomon, and by telling Solomon, says that that's a good reason to kill uh, Mustafa. I... Did I misunderstand that? Because I was finding that very confusing as to why things were happening. I thought... Okay, first of all, I thought that Rasa had come on in some way having attempted suicide but somehow not dying. I wondered whether there might be a, a stage direction missing, whether she'd um, harmed herself in some way, but... Um, but no, she, she's, she's covered in blood, but it's her daughter's blood. And she said, I just killed my own child because, he w because she was conspiring with Mustafa against you. Mm. So I guess that's the color she gave it, that she's, um, uh, she, she, she has not scrupled to slay her own offspring out of love for her husband, and so he should slay his own son because that's a good idea. Yeah, good, 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 good plan there good plan that yeah and, and so it's 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 you know it should be quite an extreme scene and there there is a there's a lot of interesting stuff but again i, I feel like the debate is getting a, in front of the the drama again even with Solomon's opening sort of vision quest um didn't quite land in i think the way that that it could um i don't know maybe maybe i'm being unfair bella b nuncius is interesting but i i feel like he's just just switches from thing to thing depending on uh, mood um, uh, we were talking last time about we weren't quite sure where to, where he he lands and uh, yeah it just seems where wherever wherever he wants really um, meanwhile um, Mustafa is uh, being advised by a priest don't go to court that's a bad thing he's going no, I better go Yeah. Uh, Eric. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of like the priest was all sort of, oh, we're hypocrites, don't listen to me, but also kind of listen to me, which is kind of contradictory. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what to think about this. I mean, I, I, I understand what the plot is having been thus far, and it's like the the characters are getting in their own way uh but like the the words are 
not complimenting but I don't know. So something is off. But then like the 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 choruses are sort of a bit more interesting. Well like yeah. sort of yeah, and, and the sort of like final priest speech are men no more, our kings anointed blood profane to them and so on and so forth. That was weird also. But I mean in, in weird in, in the way the choruses are. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I mean the 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 priest is, seems to be yeah saying that you know uh, uh, priests are fallible, um, but you know the the basic god concept's fine. It's just uh, there's there's all these humans in the way, um, and uh, you know he's sort of as as guilty of, of of allowing bad things to be going on as as uh, as anyone else. Um, uh, you know uh, we priests. Um, Bind ourselves and with others the rest of servitude, the sheath of tyrant sword. You know, we're 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 enabling the, the the bad things as much as everyone else, and that's actually quite honest for 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 someone in his position. Actually, there's something quite refreshing about that. You know, going, um, you know, we are we 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 are fallible, um, and and that's 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 interesting. That's interesting. Lots of little interesting little things dancing around at the edges of this text um, that don't necessarily always come into the focus in terms of the action of the play which is a shame because i think there's that there, there are there are interesting lines here that could have been pulled together okay any more thoughts before we dive into the uh, the much shorter act five um eric this author does really like lists he kind of goes yes as opposed to going like you know make me uh, sort of uh, i can't remember what the line was but it was something um about uh, yes, uh, I, I, I am here with my fortune and desire and lust and all those things. And it's kind of like, you don't need to list all of them. <laughs> it, it just feels like extraneous. Uh, no. Yeah. Once you've just, started listing, you know, these things, you, you just you have to finish it off. Otherwise, people will think you've forgotten what yeah. the other ones were. You know, that's, that's always the important thing. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, Act Five then. Um, oh, that's that's it for Mustafa, by the way. Spoilers. I hate to point out that the title character is literally only in that scene. <laughs> Wait, so he never? I've been waiting for him to have a scene with Suleiman and for them to have like epic confrontation and accusations and nope resolution and no nope. nope nope that's it that was his scene. Or for him to confront Rasa at all? Nope nope that was it that was his scene. I don't know if he's dead yet, but he's uh, as good as dead now, because he's gone to court. Um, that's that's that. So um, yes, yeah, spoilers there for Act Five, because um, we're going to shift focus. To well, somewhere. it was fun knowing you, Mustafa. I guess I'm Ahmad now. Yeah, uh, you are. In fact, yes, you verily are uh, for Act uh, Five. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Rossa now will shift to uh, to Eric. Um, but before uh, that happens, before that regeneration occurs, um, uh, Eric will be appearing as Zanga. Uh, so uh, Zanga is uh, uh, the the the, uh, the the uh, the other uh, heir, potential heir to the throne. Uh, so uh, you're he, your own son, Eric. Yeah. So, well, you can see the family resemblance. So Act Five, Scene One, Zanga Solus. Nourishing court, where no thought's peace is nourished, used to behold the tragedies of mine, ruined from all when, ruined from whence all monarchies have flourished, brought up with fears that fall princes' fortunes. Yet am I like him that hath lost his knowledge, or never heard one story of misfortune? My heart doth fall away, fear falls upon me, time rumour that hath been old. Mine old acquaintance, tame rumor that hath been my own, yeah. tame rumor that hath been mine old acquaintance is to me now like monsters feared and wondered. My love begins to plague me with suspicions. My first delight is spread likeness of displeasure. My mother's promises of my advancements, the name of Mustafa is so often murmured, with whose name ever I have been rejoiced. Now makes my heart misgive, my spirits languish. Man then is augur of his own misfortune when his joy yields his, him arguments of anguish. And Act 5, Scene 2, Akmat approaches Zanga. 
Tyrants, why swell you thus against your makers? Is raised equality so soon grown wild? Dare you deprive your people of succession, which thrones and scepters on their freedoms build? Have fear or love in greatness no impression? Since people who did raise you to the crown are ladders standing still to let you down. Ahmad, what strange events beget these passions? Nature is ruined, humanity fallen asunder, our Alcoran profaned, empire defaced, ruin is broken loose, truth dead, hope banished. My heart is full, my voice and spirits tremble. Yet tell the worst, by counsel or comparison things lessen. No counsel or comparison can lessen the loss of Mustafa, so vilely murdered. How? Dead? What chance or malice hath preserved? Uh, hath pre uh, uh, what chance or malice hath prevented mankind's good fortune? Father's unkindly doubts. Tell how. When Solomon by cunning spite of Rossa's witchcrafts, from his heart had banished justice of kings and lovingness of fathers to wage and lodge such camps of heady passions as that sect's cunning practices could gather. Envy took hold of worth, doubt did misconster, renown was made a lie and yet a terror. Nothing could calm his rage or move compassion, Mustafa must die. To which end moved he was, laden with hopes and promises of favor. So vile a thing is craft in every heart, as it makes power itself descend to art. While Mustafa, that neither hoped nor feared, seeing the storms of rage and danger coming, yet came, and came accompanied with power. But neither power which warranted his safety, nor safety that makes violence a justice, could hold him from obedience to this throne, a gulf which had devoured many a one. Alas, could neither truth appease his fury, nor his unlooked humility of coming, nor that any witness, any nor any secret witnessing remorses, can nature from herself make such divorces? Tell on that the old world may rue and wonder. There is a place environed with trees upon whose shadowed center there is pitched a large embroidered sumptuous pavilion the stately throne of tyranny and murder, where mighty men are slain before they know that they to other than to honor go. Mustafa no sooner to the port did come, but thither he is sent for and conducted by six slave eunuchs, either taught to color mischief with reverence or furrowed by nature to reverence true virtue and misfortune. While Mustafa, whose heart is now resolved, not fearing death, which he might have prevented if he to disobedience had consented, nor craving life, which he might well have gotten if he would other duties have forgotten, yet glad to speak his last thoughts to his father, desired the eunuchs to entreat it for him. They did, they wept, and kneeled to his father. But bloody rage that glories to be cruel, and jealousy that fears she is not fearful, made Solomon refuse to hear or pity. He bids them haste their charge, and bloody-eyed beholds his son whilst he, obeying, died. How did that doing heart endure to suffer? Tell on, quicken my powers hardened and dull to good, which yet unmoved here, tell of brother's blood. While these six eunuchs to this charge appointed, whose hearts had never used their hands to pity, whose hands now only trembled to do murder with reverence and fear stood still amazed, loath to cut off such worth, afraid to save it, Mustafa, with thoughts resolved and united, bids them fulfill their charge and look no further. Their hearts, afraid to let their hands be doing, the cord, that hateful instrument of murder, they lifting up let fall, and falling, lift it. Each sought to help, and helping hindered other, till Mustafa, in haste to be an angel, with heavenly smiles and quiet words foreshows the joy and peace of those souls where he goes. His last words were, Father, now forgive me. Forgive them too that wrought my overthrow. Let my grave never minister offenses, for since my father coveteth my death, behold with joy 
I offer him my breath. The eunuchs roar. Solomon, his rage is glutted, his thoughts divine of vengeance for this murder. Rumor flies up and down, the people murmur. Sorrow gives laws before men know the truth. Fear prophesieth aloud and threatens Ruth. We miss and languish to our men's coward spirits, where gods forbid revenge and patience too. Yet to the dead nature ordained thrice, which idle love I feel have power to do. I, I will go hence and show to them that live the gods almighty cannot all forgive. Act 5, scene 3, sh scene shifts to Rustin and Akmat. Help, Ahmad, help! Help, furies run over all! Pity my state that would the empire fall! What sound is this of ruin and confusion? Terror afraid, cruelty come for pity, seditious Rostan, running from sedition, and malice forced to enemies for succor. Ahmad, the mysteries of empire are dissolved. Fury hath made the people know their forces, majesty as but a mist. They breed and spread. Nothing but things impossible will please when fury is into revenge resolved. Must the farmers live again, or rust and perish? Oh, wretchedness, which I cannot deny. I am ashamed to live and loath to die. Tell on the dangers which concern the state. For thee, thou rod ordained unto the fire, thy other dooms let Acheron inquire. When Mustafa was by the eunuch strangled, forthwith his camp grew doubtful of his absence. The guard of Solomon himself did murmur, People began to search their prince's councils. Fury gave laws. The laws of duty vanished. Kind of fe kind fear of him they loved. Self fear had banished. The headlong spirits were the heads that guided. He that most disobeyed was most obeyed. Fury so suddenly became united as while her forces nourished confusion. Confusion seemed with discipline delighted. Towards Solomon they run, and as the waters that meet with banks of snow make snow water, so even those guards that stood to interrupt them give easy passage and pass on amongst them. Solomon, who saw this storm of mischief coming, thinks absence his best argument unto them, retires himself and sends me to demand what they demanded or what meant their coming. I spake. They cried for Mustafa and Ahmad. Some bid away, some kill, some save, some hearken. Those that cried save were, were those that wrought, sought to kill me. Who cried hark were, were those that break silence. They, they, they held that bade me go. Was, they held that bade me go. Humility was guilty. Words were reproach. Silence in me was scornful. They answered ere they asked, assured and doubted. I fled. Their furies followed, so, followed to destroy me. Fury made haste, haste multiplied their fury. Each would do all, none would give place to another. The hindmost stri strake, and while the foremost lifted their arms to strike, each weapon hindered other. Their running let their strokes, strokes let their running desire mortal, mortal enemy. The desire made them that sought my life, give life unto me. Now, Ahmad, through, though bloodthirst deserve no pity, malice no love, though just revenge be mercy, yet save me. For although my death be lawful, the judges in the manor are unlawful. If, if, if I die, what hath Solomon for warrant? Mischief is still the governors of mischief. If Solomon be slain, where will they stay? The thorough God and majesty make way. Rostan, darest thou name duty, laws, or mercy? Owe not thyself to him thou wouldst destroy. Make good thy love of murder. Die with joy. If Solomon, who hath been thy best fortune safe, thou wilt see, or safe estate preserve, make haste. The states never ill did deserve. Exit Rostan. Occasion, when art thou more glorious than even now, when thou requirest of me to fall? 
with states in common destiny. States trespass not, tyrants they be that swerve, and bring upon all empires age or death by making truth but only prince's breath. This monarchy first rose by industry, honor held up by universal fame, stirring men's minds to strange audacity, great ends procured our armies greater name, to en enemies no injury had blame, worth was not proud, authority was wise, and did not on her own then tyrannize. Now owned by humor of this dotard king, who swollen with the practice of long government doth stain the public with ill managing, honor is laid asleep, fame is unbent, his will his end, and powers right everywhere. Now what can this but dissolution bear? Whether our choice or nature gave us kings, the end of either was the good of all. Where many strengths make this omnipotence, the, the good of many there is natural. One draws from all. Can that be fortunate? All leave this one. Can this be injury? Shall I stay to, and shall I help to stay the people's rage from this estate thus ruined with age? No, people. No. Question these thrones of tyrants. Revive your old equalities of nature. Authority is more than that she maketh. Lend not your strengths to keep your own strengths under. Proceed in fury. Fury hath law and reason wherein it doth plague the wickedness of treason. For when all kingdoms surfeit and must fall, justice divides not there but minds all but ruins all. Besides, of duties twixt the earth and sky, he can observe no one that cannot die. But stay. Shall man the dam and grave of crowns with mutiny pull sacred scepters down? People of wisdom void with passion filled while they keep names still pressed to ruin things. Freedom dissolves them. Order they refuse. Worth, freedom, power, and right while they destroy, worth, freedom, power, and right they would enjoy. What soul then loving nature, duty, order, would hold a life of such a stateless state, as made of humors must give honor fate? No, Akhmat, rather with thy hazard strive to save this high raised sovereignty, under whose wings there was prosperity. I yield. But how? Force is impossible, for that is theirs. Counsel shows like their enemy delay. Order turns all desires into fears. Their art is violence and chance their end. What but occasion there can be my friend? Ah, oh, behold where Rossa comes, in her looks varying, like rage that with itself still fears miscarrying. Act 5, Scene 4, Enter Rossa, Mark 2. Whoever thinks by virtue to aspire in goodness dreams to be but fortune's star, or who by mischief's wit seeks his desire and seek, thinks no consequence ways to honor are, he must defy. Here, seeing thee and me, sees no man's good or ill rules to deny him then oh, well worth them that with God contend and would exchange the course of fate by wit, which were gods make work to make their, to bring their works to, and with itself even off doth ruin it. Oh, tired fate, I to them that do amiss for nothing left me, but my error is. What story is this that with itself is sad? Good luck makes all hearts but the guilty glad. Zanger, for whom then Mustafa was slain, and unto Kamina's blood was shed. Zanger, for whom all the worlds on me complain, hath done that which nor law nor truth could do. Horror and doubt in my desires breed, murdered himself and overthrown me too. Tell me why, and how he so unthankful died. In every creature's 
hair, head, there lives desire, heart, sorry. In every creature's heart there lives desire, which men do hallow as appearing good. For greatness they esteem it to aspire. Although its weakness be well understood, this unbound, raging, infinite thought fire, I thought I took, nay, it took me and placed my heart on hopes to alter empire and succession. Chance was my faith and order my despair. Sect, innovation, change of princes right, my studies were. I thought hope had no end in her that ha hath an emperor to friend. Whence like the storms that then like stones do blow, when in all things but themselves they overthrow, I ventured first to make the father fear, then hate, then kill his most beloved child. My daughter did his, discover him her way, to Mustafa she opened mine intent, for she had tried but could not turn my heart, yet no hurt to me she'd been telling meant, though hurt she did me to not to disclose my art. I sought revenge, revenge it could not be, for I confess she never wronged me. Remorse that hath a faction in each heart, womanish shame, which is compassion's friend, conspired with truth to have restrained me. Yet killed I her, whom I did dearly love. Furies of choice, what arguments can move? I killed her, for I thought her death would prove that her truth, not hate, made most of us suspected. The more it seemed against the mother's love, the more it showed I solemn and affected. Thus, underneath severe and upright dealing, a mischievous stepmother's malice stealing, it took effect, for few mean ill in vain were wicked art, although the father knew, yet his affection turned my ill to good. Vice, but of hers being only understood, fear grew discreet and would speak in vain. Courage turned all the strengths of heart to hear, to hear. Justice itself durst murmur, not complain. So little cared the fates for us below, so little fe men fear God they do not know. But, ah, well, worth each false, preposterous way which promiseth good luck to evil deeds, since Mustafa, whose death I made my glory, hath left me no power now but to be sorry. For Zanger, when he saw his brother dead, Confusedly with diverse shapes distract, he silent stood with horrors composed. His duty mixed with woe, kindness with rage, rev reverence, revenge, both representing shame, equally against and with the mother's name. But as these shadows vanished from his mind, the globes of his enraged eyes he threw on me, like nature justly made unkind, and for this hateful fault my love did make, pity, woe, and anger, thus he spake. Mother, is this the way of a woman's heart? Have you no law or God but will to a friend? Can neither power nor goodness escape your art? Be these the counsel by which you ascend? Is there no hell? Or do the devils love fire if neither God, heaven, or hell, or devil be? Tis plague enough that I'm born of thee, mother, monstrous name. Shall it be said that thou hast done this fact for Zanger's sake? Honor and life shall they to one upbraid that from thy mischief they their honor take. O wretched men which under shame are laid for faults which we and yet and which our parents make. Yet Rosa to be thine in this our glory that being thine gives power to make thee sorry. He wounds this, his heart, and falling down with death on Mustafa, who there for his sake died. These words he spake, a base ambition, mold of civility, in thy narrow bosom ever breed. These vicious, this, these hideous counsels, light abhorring deeds. Yet you, pure souls that Mahomet adore, for reading these wounds my horror of his death. And to the Christians carry thou his breath. He dies, woes me. When in my heart I look horror, I see all there lost but despair. My love and joy become affliction's book. The eternity of shame is printed there to think of God. Alas, that so I may, yet power and goodness can sh but show me fear. 
mercy I cannot crave that cannot trust, nor die I will for death concludeth pains, nor anguish in conceit, for then I must abhor my soul, which all mischiefs reign. I will bear with me in this body of dust what curse soever to the earth remains. I will bear with me envy, rage, desire to set all hearts and all times, all worlds on fire. You weak so souls that whose, whose true love hath made so base and fixed your quiets upon others' will. You humble hearts which unto power give place. For conscience bearing yokes of tired skill, you poor religions, but who in hope of grace bear many sore temptations of the ill, rejoice, unkindness, cruelty, disgrace, vengeance, and wrong, bear hence with me I will rather than take heed where more danger can where can more danger be than where these powers may be disposed by me? And we have uh, two choruses to conclude. In fact, I'll ask Liza to read the second one, please. I'll start in uh, the underworld. Uh, vast superstition, glorious style of weakness, sprung from the deep disquiet of man's passion to dissolution and despair of nature. Thy texts bring princes' titles into question. Thy prophets set on work the sword of tyrants. They manacle sweet truth where their distinction let virtue blood teach cruelty for God's sake, fashioning one God, yet him of many fashions, like many-headed error in their passions. Mankind, trust not these superstitious dreams, fears, idols, pleasures, relics, sorrows, pleasures. They make the willful hearts their holy temples. The rebels unto government their martyrs know. Thou child of false miracles begotten, false miracles which are but ignorance of cause, lift up the hopes of thy abjected prophets, courage and worth abjure thy painted heavens, sickness thy blessings are, misery thy trial, nothing thy way unto eternal being, death to salvation, and the grave to heaven. So blessed be there, so angel, so eternized, Obey their senses to thy senseless glories, and die to cloy the after age with stories. Man should make such of much man should make much of life as nature's table, wherein she writes the cipher of her glory. Forsake not nature, nor misunderstand her. Her mysteries are read without faith's eyesight. She speaketh in our flesh, and from our senses delivers down her wisdoms to our reason. If any man would break her laws to kill, nature doth for defence allow offences. She neither taught the father to destroy, nor promised any man by dying joy. O oh, wearisome condition of humanity, born under one law to another bound, vainly begotten yet forbidden vanity, created sick commanded to be sound. What meaneth nature by these diverse laws? Passion and reason, self-division cause. Is it the mark or majesty of power to make offences that it may forgive? Nature herself doth her own self deflower, to hate these errors she herself doth give. For how should man think that he may not do if nature did not fail and punish too? Tyrant to others, to herself unjust, only commands things difficult and hard, forbids us all things which it knows we lust, makes easy pains unpossible reward. If nature did not take delight in blood, she would have made more easy ways to good. We that are bound by vows and by promotion with pomp of holy sacrifice and rites to preach belief in God and stir devotion, to preach of heaven's wonders and delights. Yet when each of us in his own heart looks, he finds the God there, far unlike his books. And thus ends uh, the primary bulk of the text. We've got an awful lot of appendices, additional bits of speech, um, a lot of additional material there. Um, I think this text is trying to do some really quite radical things. Uh, it's playing with some really very radical concepts. Um, it's questioning the nature of religion in very general terms. 
you know, uh, man created sick, commanded to be sound. Um, uh, there, there's there's a lot um, there about politics, about um, uh, people. Question these t thrones of tyrants. Revive your old equalities of nature. I'm sort of just uh, halfway through Ackman's speech. I'm just going, whoa, man, where are you going with this? There's some good. St Vive la re <laughs> the resistance. <laughs> Um, and then he sort of goes, nah, uh, <laughs> which is sort of understandable yeah. from the character's point of view. Um, but um, he, he, but he does that. He acknowledges that the status quo is bad, mm. um, and he has to save it because the principle of monarchy is correct, and the principle of revolution is incorrect. Honest gov. Mm, yeah, I, I mean, I you you might be able to twist it and say, you know, it's just it, it, the 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 damage done might be too much to you know the too high a price to pay kind of thing maybe. Well, I mean, earlier in his speech, he said he basically says that monarchies are monarchies are created by by people and they continue by as as it were consent of the governed, mm. and so the people revolting is a sort of corrective to the unnatural offense Solomon has committed and further unnatural things happen. Um, mm. or the, uh, so revolution would be just, but Ahmad is like, oh God, I have to pick up the pieces again. I do like, in the midst of this tragedy, I do like how he's composed pretty much entirely of salt uh, in the last few scenes, mm -hmm. and and the, 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 yeah, it's 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 fascinating the philosophy of it all, the 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 the, the stuff that he's doing there. Um, the human drama is almost like it's kind of actually genuinely don't care. <laughs> I don't think full Revel does either. No, I mean it's like Rossa comes on and does some stuff. You know, we got Zanga who you know, and and you know, we get these these reported speeches about people dying um but yeah you know we barely met mustafa so do i really care if he died a horrible death uh, yeah, yeah not really um so yeah I, I i i'm much more here for the the the, the political philosophy and the discussion and there um i yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm quite interested in that. I, I don't know what we could do with it uh, in that sense. It's 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 you know beyond analysing it and doing some stuff with you know the politics of it all. Um, but you know, as a play, it's not really got much going for it. It didn't heat up actually as the bodies started to pile up. Um, if anything, we got much more into the philosophy than we got into the drama. Uh, weirdly. The more people died, the more I was interested in abstract um, <laughs> concepts of how to govern, uh, govern humans. And how the world works in general. Yeah, it's all this stuff about humans building institutions, humans being fallible, it's things that humans and, build being and, fallible. And greater forces like time and eternity. I mean, that bit was almost science fiction. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, they, they, they really playing with ideas are very ahead of their time or, 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 or almost I mean maybe almost by accident sometimes but um, um, yeah um, I'm really interested in this text now but not not in the way that is our remit <laughs> uh, you can't win can you um... <laughs> you're interested for all the wrong reasons yeah I, 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 I yeah genuinely fascinated by what this text is trying to say um or what it's trying to get away with saying while then going being really quite conventional in you know it's sort of it's like it gets so far with its political thought and then goes look let's 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 go back to a safe space so that i don't get you know in trouble um which isn't really an issue for the the author by the time this actually gets published um so yeah um uh, eric um any final thoughts <laughs> I have mixed feelings about this. Like the characters, I don't really care about, but like I feel like the entire plot of the play was kind of summarized in Ross's last speech. The whole thing of like, yeah, I plotted to murder Mustafa, and then you know this happened, and that happened, and then this happened. And it's like, well, 
why did we have the entire plane? <laughs> uh, I just kind of felt a bit like, thank you for the summary. Um, but yeah, it kind of, well, as you said, I don't really care much for the characters, except maybe Zanger, who was sort of naive enough to sort of, I thought he was going to get murdered by the mob or something, you know, sort of by, by the, by, or by Rossa, um, which is not how it turned out. But um, yeah, I, I mean, like, sort of, they're probably going, okay, what well, now, what, what, what is next for this monarchy that has sort of semi-collapsed? Someone else is going to take part and do the same thing. Mm. I mean, it, it, it is one of those uh, texts now where I'm looking at it going, right, well, okay, we could produce, I, I was going to say a, a, an audio adaptation. We could produce the audio book. I, I see this as being, it's an audio book, it's not an audio play. Um, you know, I, 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 I can see that uh, as being a thing and people, you know, you'd have an introduction so that it, possibly to each act so that you know where you are and what's going to come. Um, but actually the drama of it is is, is really unimportant um maybe actually with some work it, it, you will get more out of it certainly it will be helpful to be able to hang your hat on what's going on um to get to the political debates um and maybe detaching some bits from this some of those choruses are quite interesting to just take apart as exercises i thought uh, actually um there's actually a really good i don't think it's an audition speech but there's a really good speech Achmet at the end there that speech is quite nice there's 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 something there actually with a bit of tweaking that's quite a tour de force uh in a way that nobody you know other people who should have a tour de force don't necessarily seem to have um so yeah there there there, there are uh, there are a few options here if 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 um narrower than sometimes we we get even with uh neoclassical stuff liza any final thoughts I, I agree with you. I think Ahmad is one of the, throughout, in fact, has been one of the most human characters in this drama, who he seems to, which is weird, because you'd think that Rasa would be. Mm. Um, but Ahmad seems to talk the most like a person, um, as far as I can see. Mm. Um, the scene between Mustafa and his priest also reads like a scene between people, although the priest's monologue before the scene is a little bit weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and there's some, there's some, uh, uh, there, there's, there's some Islamophobia, or at least there's some glorifying of Christianity over the highly fictionalized version of Islam in which this play is set, that, um, that Mustafa dies with the same last, with almost the same last words that Jesus does. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Mm. And um, and then he says, uh, dying, he says, carry my good breath to the Christians. And um, so is is his priest then a Christian priest? Has has he converted? He doesn't really say. Uh, we don't really learn. Um, what's clear is that. I mean, I found I was pleasantly surprised by how little Islamophobia in general was in this play, um, but so, some of the tropes of Orientalism are present mm. uh, in Rasa, especially uh, things like extreme emotional reactions, uh, willingness to murder your family, quote unquote savagery in that respect, um, but. There's a lot of philosophizing done here that is easier to do in a non-Christian context. And I think Folk Greville's world building and his version of what he portrays Islam as is less to do with Islam itself than just creating a non-Christian space where he can philosophize, where yeah. there's no one to pop up and say, excuse me, that philosophy is sinful. Um, yeah, I mean, in a sense, it's very clever that he's, you know, he he's uh, utilizing these various priests and, uh, and and believers in in a similar but significantly different religion to Christianity, um, to to basically possibly poke at the edges of what's going on with Christianity itself, um, and sort of it's it's a dangerous game, um, and it's really interesting uh, uh, and the wider philosophy about belief. 
and the institution of churches um, and how fallible they are. Um, it's 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 a really interesting um, approach. And yeah, he does fall into the various traps every so often, but it's not like he's uh, you know, he, that that's his agenda. It's uh, it's uh, it's it, it's doing something slightly different, um, which which may mean it can be saved in places. Uh, Eric. Yeah, I kind of got the impression that the priest was kind of helly, I think, yeah, maybe, uh, kind of just didn't actually want to be a priest. Like, he's kind of, I don't know, just tired of his job <laughs> and want, wants to go do something else, like, I don't know, become a musician or something, or, you know, so, something more joyful. Like, it's almost like he doesn't really sort of, I don't know. It just felt joyless compared to the way. Pre I mean, priests are usually sort of not portrayed as particularly joyful. But I mean, yeah, it just it's an interesting portrayal as a, of a character. I, I, yeah, I don't know what to think of him other than grumpy, maybe. He didn't want to be a priest. He wanted to be a lumberjack, leaping from tree to tree. Is they? No, I'm not going to go there. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> remains is to thank all the wonderful readers um, who signed up in their droves to finish off <laughs> both both the wonderful readers and you i guess uh, i guess that's all three Rob, of the Rob, Rob was a reader as well so yeah it's true all three of the wonderful readers for all their wonderful reading thank you very much everyone and goodbye this football to the stars is come. Thank <sighs> you.